Hello and welcome viewers and subscribers of ABG News. My name is Mkholise Nube. Uh, I just want to make this short video to respond to some questions that I've been getting from ZEP applicants who have been sending us what looks like motivational letters uh, which they've been written by their employers or which they've written themselves and they want to know if these letters and what is required by uh, the Department of Home Affairs uh, as a motivation for them to try and apply for a waiver. So before I go ahead and explain what a motivational letter is, uh, I would like to request that you subscribe to this channel, you like this video and you share it so that we can aptly assist even those who may not uh, instantly watch uh, on this channel but for as long as we continue spreading this, uh, people will get a chance to get to understand the requirement uh, that should be in the motivational letter. Uh, I've received a number of uh, letters that people have been forwarding to me, which have been written by their employers, others have been written by they, uh, them, themselves, uh, and they would be seeking to get my opinion on whether this can pass uh, for the motivational letter that the Department of Home Affairs requires. So what we should understand is that the reason for a letter of motivation to be needed uh, is that the Department of Home Affairs seeks to understand which of the regulations in the Immigration Act one cannot satisfy and the reasons why so it cannot just be a letter which says uh, I so and so hereby uh, acknowledge and uh, that policy Nube is employed by me as a domestic worker may you kindly grant him uh, a waiver it cannot be because there is no specific uh, that this letter addresses except just uh, confirming that somebody is employed so that can pass for a confirmation of employment but not a letter of motivation a letter of motivation is written based on the requirements for a particular visa that you want for example if i were to apply for a critical skills visa uh, and I do have qualifications in that criteria or in that particular field but the criteria doesn't meet uh, the threshold that the Department of Home Affairs or the Immigration Act of South Africa specifies as the minimum for one to have a critical skills visa. I then can uh, state that the requirement under regulation 16 may be subsection 1 subsection b uh, is that i should have a particular qualification i don't have that particular qualification i have this qualification and 10 years experience working in that field i therefore request that you set aside this regulation so that i can therefore be able to apply uh, or you are a teacher but the language, the subjects that you are teaching are not uh, under uh, STEM, then you apply that because you are an educator, although you are not uh, in the field that is required, you however apply for a waiver on certain regulations. So the long and short of it is that there should be uh, a consideration of what the particular visa that you are applying for requires as a way of qualification as a way maybe of experience then because you don't meet that requirement you then request you quote the section of the requirement that you do not meet and then uh, motivate for why that particular regulation should be set aside for your benefit so there must be a regulation that you are quoting and a strong reason why 
you are requesting that it be set aside. Another example is there is a requirement that uh, for one to be employed and they are a foreigner, there should be proof that a search was done within South Africa and no South African could satisfy that requirement and therefore you had to be employed because you were the best candidate there. But because you were already here on a ZEP permit, uh, you can then your employer can request that this particular requirement be set aside because you were already here uh, and living and working on a ZEP. So some of these requirements then can fall by the wayside, but the motivation should be clear. So what should be noted here is that there must be a regulation that you are citing which you cannot certify, satisfy for a one reason or another. And therefore, you request that this one be set aside based on the strength of your motivation that maybe you already experienced in that particular field, that you already uh, are here in South Africa, that you already possess certain skills, although they may not meet a certain threshold. Or if you are applying for a business permit, you have a compliant company which is already operational in South Africa, which is already employing people, including South Africans, but you don't meet the minimum threshold of 5 million rands you therefore can request that the threshold of 5 million rands requirement be set aside because you are already having a Z business permit, you are already having a registered company which is already employing people and if you were to be forced to shut down these people that you employ, maybe uh, find themselves with nothing to put on the table for their children, for their families, or already your company is providing uh, certain services that uh, are needed in South Africa, or you are training people, or things like that, then you therefore request that this regulation of a minimum 5%, of a minimum 5 million rents uh, be set aside. So I think we now understand that it cannot be a motivation, a, motiv a letter of motivation without specifying the regulations that you are requesting to be set aside and giving strong reasons for the request for each of the regulations to be set aside. Thank you very much. I hope you understand now. Uh, please continue to send us your, your, your questions and we will respond to the best of our knowledge, to the best of our ability. But do not forget to subscribe to this channel, like this video and share it.